Have you ever wondered who or what created our world? It's a question as old as humanity itself, echoed in the whispers of ancient civilizations and the annals of modern science. Across the globe and through the ages, we have spun tales of creation, each one a reflection of our unique cultural lens. From the mythos of ancient Egypt to the cosmogonies of the Greeks, from the vibrant narratives of Native American tribes to the deep-rooted lore of the Australian Aboriginals, each story is a testament to our ceaseless quest for understanding. Let's delve into these mystical narratives and uncover the rich tapestry of human imagination. Imagine the vast, life-giving Nile River in the deserts of ancient Egypt. Here, millennia ago, the story of the world's creation was born in the hearts and minds of the people. This tale begins with Adam, the self-created god who emerged from the primal chaos of Nun. In a world of darkness and disarray, Atum stood as a beacon of order and light, bringing forth existence from the void. At the heart of this creation story lies the lotus flower, a symbol of life and rebirth. It is said that Autumn first appeared on a lotus flower that bloomed on the surface of the chaotic waters. With the breaking of dawn, Autumn transformed into the sun, casting light upon the world and banishing the darkness of chaos. Day after day, the sun's journey across the sky and its rebirth at dawn became a testament to the Egyptians' belief in the cyclical nature of life, death, and rejuvenity. In their eyes, the rising sun was a daily reminder of Autumn's original act of self-creation and the birth of the world. From chaos to order, the Egyptians saw the universe as a reflection of divine will. Now, transport yourself to the ancient lands of India, where creation begins with a cosmic egg. This egg, known as Hiranyagarbha, is the golden womb of the universe. It's a symbol of the unity of existence, the seed from which all life springs. In Hindu thought, this cosmic egg floats in a void, a limitless ocean until it splits open, giving birth to the universe and everything within it. In this grand scheme of creation, three primary deities play pivotal roles. Brahma, the creator, emerges from the cosmic egg. He's responsible for the birth of the cosmos and all its creatures. Vishnu, the preserver, sustains the universe, keeping the cosmic order intact. And then there's Shiva, the destroyer, who ends the universe, making way for a new creation. This process is cyclical, with no beginning or end. It's a dance of creation, preservation, and destruction, performed eternally by these three deities. In this eternal cycle, creation and destruction are but two sides of the same coin. Travel to the cradle of Western civilization, ancient Greece. Here, the mosaic of creation begins with chaos, a yawning void. From this emptiness, Gaia, the Earth emerges, soon followed by Uranus, the sky. These are the titans, primal entities that precede the gods we often associate with Greek mythology. Gaia and Uranus become the parents of the first generation of titans and set the stage for the pantheon of Olympian gods to come. This narrative of creation, of order from chaos, is a central theme in many Greek myths. Interestingly, the Greek gods were not abstract symbols, but entities with human-like traits and failings. They loved, they fought, they plotted. Their stories are a divine drama that mirrors the human condition. For the Greeks, the universe was a drama played out by divine entities with human-like traits. Venture into the cold, mysterious North, home to the Norse gods. In this realm, the world was born from a grisly act of divine fratricide. The primeval giant Ymir, ancestor of all frost giants, was slain by Odin and his brothers, Vili and Ve. From Ymir's body, they shaped the world. His blood formed the seas, his bones became mountains, and from his skull, they fashioned the sky. But the world was more than just a giant's corpse. It was a vast interconnected web of realms held together by Yggdrasil, the world tree. This cosmic ash tree, tall and strong, connected the nine realms of Norse cosmology, from the icy realm of Niflheim to the fiery Muspelheim and the human realm of Midgard in between. In these icy lands, the world is a living entity woven into the fabric of Norse belief. Cross the Atlantic to the diverse tribes of Native America, here the stories of creation are as varied as the landscapes they inhabit. From the Iroquois in the Northeast to the Cherokee in the Southeast, each tribe has its own unique tale. The Iroquois speak of a sky woman who fell from the celestial realm. She was caught by a host of animals and placed on the back of a great turtle. From this, the Earth was formed, a testament to cooperation and compassion among all creatures. The Cherokee, on the other hand, tell of a water beetle that dove to the depths of the primordial ocean. It brought up a piece of mud that expanded and hardened to become the earth. 
This story underscores the Cherokees' respect for the smallest beings and their large roles in the grand scheme of life. In these tales and many others, elements of nature and animal spirits are not just characters but active participants in creation. They embody the Native American belief in the interconnectedness of all things. For many Native American tribes, the earth is a mother, nurturing and full of life. Journey now to the arid outback of Australia. Here, the Aboriginal people have their unique take on the birth of our world, a concept they call the Dreamtime. In the Dreamtime, the world was a barren, featureless plain until ancestral spirits, in the form of giant animals and humans, emerged from the earth and the sky. As these spirits moved across the land, their actions, their emotions, their very essence shaped the world as we know it today. Mountains rose where they walked, rivers flowed where they wept, and forests grew where they rested. Their journey wasn't just about creating the physical world, but also laying down the laws of existence, the moral and social codes to be followed. This myth is not just a tale of creation for the Aboriginal people, but a deep spiritual connection to the land. Every element in nature is a symbol, a story from the dream time, reminding them of the laws laid down by their ancestors. It's a holistic view of life, where the past and the present, the physical and the spiritual, the human and the natural world are intimately connected. In the dream time, every mountain, river and rock tells a story of creation. As our journey through these creation myths concludes, what have we learned about our own place in the universe? We've traversed the sands of time, from the ancient pyramids of Egypt, to the snow-capped peaks of Norse mythology, and from the verdant forests of Native American lore, to the sun-scorched land of Aboriginal myths. Each culture we've explored has offered its unique perspective on the creation of our world, yet there are threads that weave these disparate stories together. One of the most pervasive themes is that of order emerging from chaos, whether it's the primordial waters of the Nile giving birth to the Egyptian gods or the Norse giants forming from the yawning abyss, there's a shared understanding that our world is the result of a cosmic struggle, a balancing act between chaos and order. Another recurring motif is the cyclical nature of life, the Hindu concept of the universe being created, destroyed, and reborn in an infinite loop mirrors the aboriginal belief in the dream time, a time of creation and eternal return. These myths underscore the impermanence of existence and the inevitable cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. And then there's the divine connection to the world around us. From the Native American great spirit breathing life into the world to the Greek gods crafting humanity from clay, these stories remind us of our profound link to the cosmos and the divine forces that shape our reality. These myths, as diverse as they are, reflect the values and environment of the cultures that created them. They are a testament to our ancestors' quest to make sense of the world, to find meaning in the stars, and to understand our place in the grand tapestry of existence. Though our beliefs may differ, the quest to understand our origins unites us all. These myths are not just stories, but a mirror reflecting our deepest fears and greatest hopes.